Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in the How To Craft Network studio. As always, I see my friends and familiar faces and names on the channel every single day. So thank you so much if you come every day. If you're at home and you're on your own, we are live most days at one o'clock with something, whether it be Create Together Club or some project or something or just a crafty chat. So if you're not a subscriber to our channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that notify me button that gives you the half an hour notice uh, and the bell as well will let you know when we are live as well so for those of you who maybe don't know who i am my name is tony darrick i have a lovely family company here in the uk and i love to share the love of craft now i am a bit giddy but i've had to calm it down a little bit because after yesterday's shenanigans i don't want another repeat of yesterday's show Although it was funny, and I did actually put the thumbnail on saying disaster and how to recover, I don't want to repeat, okay? So let's not, let's not let it happen today. I'm on my best behaviour. Giddy keepers in the trainers at the moment. She's staying put. I'll let her out at some point, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do a little shout-out. So we have Julie, Pat, Audrey, Marilyn, Melanie, um... Crikey, all M's. To, it looks like they're all A's, P's and M's. Crikey, they're all blending into one. Lovely to have your company. So today is the Create Together Club session six, okay? And it's the fabulous three stamps that you can still get involved in. The three A5 stamps, which we have all mine, Somebody Loves You and Happy Home. So you get a week's worth of content on each stamp. And the Happy Home is the one that we're currently working on, which is this one. And we're on session six, but you can catch any of the content uh, and the live shows from all of this creativity right here in my hand. It never goes away, so you can probably catch up at any point. Pause me, mute me, do as you please. So, hello, Dorothy. So, it's still available, and you will be sent all three together um, to be in the club. Now, we will be launching our Chapter 3 Create Together Club, and we're mixing it up. I'll tell you more about it when I launch it. Not sure when I'm going to launch it, when I get a little bit of a breather, um, and we're going to mix it up and i'll explain how I'm not tell you too much though because remember create together club is that club where you have no idea what you're going to get but we're creative with whatever we get so those are there for you you can um, scan the qr code as you saw on the screen there to check out the shows and check out the products right today we're going to go with the florals Yeek. did you enjoy last night's show did you like what i launched last night for friday's show on creating craft wasn't it good? Wasn't it good? I've had so many lovely comments. Thank you so much, everyone. So, today we're going big. So, as you can see, the five sort of techniques or cards, some of which I've had to recover, some have been technique based, whereas this one's going to be a beautiful coloured card. <clears throat> so, I have an 8x8 eight eight card. Then I have, I like white on white, as you all know. <clears throat> and then I have another piece of white that I've just cut a little bit shorter. Then another piece. A little bit shorter and then i have a band across the center here i just need to get rid of that band for now and i need to get rid of this piece here because i'm going to be working on this one the smallest one of them all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to heat emboss that lovely floral it's actually in a vase but you can use it as anything that's the cool part about it so i'm gonna do it in white so we're going to do a resist technique today so i've got uh, opaque bright white super fine wow powder but you can use any powder, it doesn't have to be white, it can be black, it can be gold, any you want. So anti-static bag as well. So I'm just going to pop this on here. And we're going to create a beautiful border. So let's just grab the Eureka. So always anti-static as well, because that really helps with fingerprints, unless it's on acetate. Moving on very quickly. So let's just pop this in here and let's just get this border. Well, florals in a, in a vase look. Can you see that there? But I'm going to use it as a border today. I'm just going to do it up here. Like so. And I'm going to use a sticky ink pad. I use my wow. You haven't got sticky ink. These are brilliant. These are on the web. So let's just get this one stamped out. Everybody got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? <laughs> I'm getting quite hungry actually. I've not eaten now. That's probably why I'm a little bit calmer. 
<laughs> Make a sandwich after the show. That was meant to be clearing, but because my stamp is so mucky, you've got to print there. So I'm just going to take the same stamp and I'm just going to twizzle it round here and sort of pull it down a little bit and do it here too. I've just had another thought whilst I was doing that. Um, if you've got washi tape, you could do a strip of washi down the centre. So just um, sticky ink. Good old Yorkshire tea for you, says Terry. Oh, I did say I would show all the all surfaces pads, didn't I? Oh, I tell you what, I'm losing it. I promise you I will show them. I'm just going to ink that up again. Amanda's super excited for the aperture and bossy folders. I know. Cool, aren't they? Right, so I've done it twice there. And then we're just going to grab, um, grab some card. That's my um, embossing powder. Oh, my life. So I'm just going to do it in white. You can see it's covered it. Excuse me. Covered it in that lovely white powder there. So let's just get rid of this for now. I feel like I'm going to have a sneezing attack now. <laughs> I just catch that before it all comes tumbling down. Right, so let's heat set this one. Get your gun hot. Hot chocolate for order, it's chilly. I think if you're in the sun, it's not too bad, but if you're in the shade, it's like boom. I'm just going to heat set this in the white. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Annette. So it'll sort of like disappear for now. This is what I want. I don't think it's okay. Drink. I know it's a little bit like spring didn't really come. It was warm, then it was cold. Right, so we're just going to set that aside for now and then we'll come back to that as a technique. We'll get rid of this stamp for now. Right, here we go. And then um, on that very stamp set, you have that that lovely like elongated home sweet home. So I'm just going to take my banner here, that is for the centre, and I'm sort of like going to start in the middle because I know, or I'll just do it off to the side slightly. And I'm going to do sort of a repeating sentiment. So I'll do that in there. Just excuse me a second because my nose is going crazy here. I don't know why. It's because I've sneezed. So there we go. So I'm back. Sorry about that. My nose is just going crazy. So I've just seen there. Question, question. Did you see my question about the heat gun last night, Brenda? I didn't. Do you want to tell me now, sweetheart? Did I miss? What did I miss? 
So I'm just doing a repeating sentiment border here. So I'm just going to move that over. Might be easy to move the stamp, but we'll see. Oh, home, 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 sweet home, and then we'll carry it on. So it's just like a repeating, like a ribbon strip, if that makes any sense at all. Amanda got a quattro D, well done. So did Marilyn, I know lots of you got it, well done. It is a little bit of a corker, I have to admit. So there we have like our repeating sort of sentiment banner there, super easy. So let's set this aside. Oh, a best heat gun. I don't, I don't see one on the SBM tools. We have the wonderful WOW, but it's the same as all tools. Um, They've just released um, a white one, which has got two speeds on, which is on the website. You can check that one out. Um, I think they're all the same, really. They all overheat, which is a safety thing. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, but the one that I like to use is Wow, because I support them as a family brand. So Wow for me, but um, have a hunt around if you need to. But there is some on the web, sweetheart. They're under Wow and Tools. So have my lovely strip here and I'm just going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to add um, some colour to my mat. Move this out of the way before it gets messy. So I think we're going to go bright today. I'm going to go pink first so I'm just going to put some pink onto my mat. I'm going to spray it with some water and get a really nice wet puddle really really wet so i don't get any lines and then i'm just going to take my design and i'm just going to pop it in and then what will happen is it'll fall into the recess of that white emboss you see i'm not going to cover it all in pink so it's a shame to waste that so i'm just going to pick some white card here pick up this white card here and just Pick that up. This will be nice as a sentiment or a background. So I've got my sort of design on here now. I'm not a fan of harsh lines, so I'm just going to give that a spritz there and just let it work its magic. So I'll just move that over and then I'm just going to clean that. And then we'll swap out for another colour. There we go. Um, we've popped it on the screen for you, sweetheart. And if you've got points, you'll get a good discount on that as well. So, shall we? Let's do orange. I'm going bright today because, as you can see, we've got a lot of craft coloured and brown tones going. So if you've got uh, Emma Blake's neon paints, they would be fab for this technique. So I'm just going to do a bit of pu a puddle of orange. It's cool, isn't it? And again, I'll pick up this scrap here. So before I do, move my banner, before I do my next colour, I'm going to dry this off just to set it a little bit. I know it's reactive ink, but just to set it a little bit, so I would like a difference in colour. Um, I'm going to just dry this one off now again. I like sort of the loose look, as you all know. So I'll just mop that up a little bit. Let's dry this off. So it doesn't have to be like 
terribly dry, but dry enough to overlay a bit more colour. So that'll do, I think, for now. Right, let's get some yellow on here. Let's give it that little pop. So I've got my yellow ink pad. Now you can use any ink pad you've got in your stash. You don't have to have mine. Just whatever you've got. I'll try and get this in the middle. Ooh. That's really made it pop now, hasn't it? I really like that. Let's just get some yellow up in this top corner to balance it a little bit. Look at that. That looks nice already. Could cut a sentiment out of that now, couldn't we? Clean this off. So I'm just going to take my um, tissue here and just get rid of the puddles on top of the embossing because the embossing powder resists. So let's just dry this off. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we've got our accent and our background which is wonderful we need to sort of like bring the rest of it to the foreground so I am going to use my lovely neons and I'm going to paint some of the detail back in now not a lot of the detail just a little bit okay so let's just grab my brush here just give them a wet get them going I'm just going to pick up some of the colour now. Do remember, if you if you do watch, because it's embossed, it will absolutely resist it, okay? So you can pop it on. It'll resist it, and then you can take your tissue and just wipe it off the white when it's dry. Burnish it back up, see? So there are options. If you have a bit of a tremor, don't, you know, don't put yourself under undue stress. Now I am going to paint this, then I am going to spray it as well. Okay, again. So I'll just add a little bit of detail, random. Let's puzzle this round. Now I'm not filling it all in because I do like some form of the lighter colour to peek through. Let's get a bit of the orange, or ready orange, or the normal orange actually. So a little bit of an update, things have changed. I gave you a plan about what was happening this week in the How To Craft Network. Unfortunately, something's changed and Sarah's unable to do studio tonight, which is absolutely fine. Um, we will get it rescheduled back in. So some further dates. So this week is still a packed week, okay? So tomorrow we have Susan Tierney Coburn at six o'clock tomorrow night and you have me tomorrow at one as well. So again, you've got a double show. Uh, you've got a double show tomorrow, okay? So one o'clock with me and then um, six o'clock with Susan, which we're really excited about because we've not had Susan in studio before. So it will be a lovely change. So let's get some of the green.
I'm not being too precious about it. I'm literally just laying it in because I'm going to spray it again with water because I'd like to get a little bit of a loose bleed on the design as well. Because today we're going bright and we're going vibrant today. So now I've got that colour on there, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz as well. Just to get it to bleed a little bit. I don't want it to like go crazy, but I want it to, hopefully, there we go. You can't actually see that, but that looks cool. I'm just going to give it a second. So whilst my card is wet, I'm going to take the orange as well on my brush. I'm going to splatter it into what we've just sprayed, okay? And what that will do is it'll give you like that starburst effect with your watercolours. And if you find that it's not starbursting enough, more water. It's only a bit of card, isn't it? What's the worst that could happen? Let's pick up some pink as well. And then I just leave it a second to do its thing. I'll have a swig of my coffee. And at the new summer, new ink pads of summer with the Christmas. So I'm just going to take the tissue and get rid of any puddles where it's super wet. And then it'll bring back that um, embossed detail. Can we see that there? I'm losing that a little bit there. And now let's, bla let's blast it off with my gun, just helping myself out a little bit by eradicating some of that water. Now that gun's switched off. I'll use my newest gun. This is my gun for TV. Um, and you can guarantee I will leave it when I come to go to telly on Friday. Guaranteed. Just like I don't have my own ink pad in here because I took it out of here to take it to TV and it never returned. So this is the gun that's on the website, Brenda. It's got two settings. It's got like a one, which is a low, and then a high on here. So you can use both, which is quite cool. This is the latest edition. This one's about 10 years old, this one. And this has just got one setting, as you can see. Actually, it's a different type of gun. There we go. Sorry. So let's blast this off. Strikingly vibrant. I know it's like um, fruit salad. Fruit salad. This is good, isn't it? It's going to cheer us all up after yesterday's card. This is going to really cheer us all up, I know. Now, I know I um, sprayed it a little bit for a little bit of a bleed, so now I'm just going to add the last bit of colour and just make it pop even brighter because we're really going to town with colour today. So that last one bled beautifully. Now this one, I'm just adding the accents and the highlights, just making it a little bit stronger. Now I'm not colouring all of the elements, as you can see, I'm just spotting it a little bit. Um, and that's where you get sort of that dimension and depth and colour. Don't be afraid of it. It's a bit of paint. It's a card, you know. I promise you it will not jump off the page and bite you, I promise. Get some of that pink. any that you get on your embossing powder it will just uh, wait till it's dry and then just give it a rub off it will come off because it acts as a resist it's plastic so it will always come off 
just make that green a little bit darker. I've got a lovely sort of like bleed around, which is wonderful. It looks really like freehand, like, you know, I'm carefree with my brush, which I really love. So let's just dry this one off. And then we'll get on with our card. Wrong gun. Got that many guns, I don't know what's happening. Make sure it's absolutely dry. And then we'll start to build. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to frame this because it needs framing, I think, but we'll see. So just set that aside. So ahead of time, what I did was I stamped the lovely flower out and I just fussy cut the bits and pieces that. Um, I, I was able to cut away because I felt like we could maybe get a nice banner out of this. So I'm just going to add some colour to this as well. So this is going to be sort of 3D'd on top. So I'll just give my paints a spray again. So this one's in black and the reason why I did it in black is just to separate from the white on the back because the background is more like pushed back whereas this is going to be the focus now so on this one as you can see I'm coloring the leaves but I'm not I leave white space on the leaves have the courage to leave some white okay like just paint down one side of the leaf or in the middle and leave that white space and it just gives you a, a sort of that halo you know the light as if it's just popping from the top so either color the center or miss one area of the leaf if you color it all in perfectly it sort of like looks very sterile so i have the courage to just faff around with it and sort of not worry about whether you've got it all covered or not because i am going to leave some lovely white on here just to cast that appearance of a light just knocking it back at the top These paints are so blinking bright. If you like colour, I can see why you're all like these. Mind you, they're not called neons for no other, I guess. Bit of pink. So you can see just by leaving a touch of white, it just gives you that um, appearance of that halo, the highlights. Just add a bit of pink to this one because we can. And you know what? I like to drag it where it's quite dry as well. So you get that acrylic -y sort of look. That's what Paul does all the time. So his brush is pretty dry, but he drags it and it gives you like this lovely um, acrylic -y finish, like scratchy. But then I go in and try and sort of like rectify it. So there's no point actually doing it. <laughs> oh, you know what we're like. So let's try this one off. In fact, I'll do it on low on this one. I'll sort of blow away. No, I won't. Today I'm sending lots of cheer your way with these colours. There's the link for the lady who's still asking. I could just put gun. 
while we're going into the website, it'll come up. Right, so let's get this card put together. So I'm not sure yet if it's finished. I'll see how I feel about it when I start to put it together. So I've got my large, large card. And then I have the white because I like the white to separate. So let's get this down. So the piece of white first. And what happens when you do a piece of white like this is, it's sort of a cheat really. It creates that as if I taped this off, you know, around that piece of card, it looks like I taped it with some tape and painted within. I really like that look. Um, when you matte and layer it onto white, it really looks like we've taped it when we haven't at all. I'm just going to pop quite a bit of glue down here because I've got quite a bit of a humpy bumpy in this one because it's not watercolour card, it's just my everyday cardstock from my stash. Which way do I like the bit? Go this way. Can you see how it looks like it's been taped off? Because Well, it will do in a second. And I'm just going to take some tissue and put my hand over it because you know what's going to happen. You're going to end up with a paw print, aren't you? So put your card down and then push it down just in case I've got any wet anywhere. So I'm just going to pop my Eureka on top. So that's what my Eureka is good for also. And give that a second to grab. And then I'm just going to give these flowers that lovely pinch. Just sort of like break down those fibres, get a little bit of dimension. I don't know what I'm doing with these yet, but I know they're going to look fab regardless. See how my card's looking? Oh, it looks great. Look at that. Just grab another piece of clean tissue. So you can see how it looks like it's been taped because it's on top of that piece of card. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making any sense at all. So I have my lovely home sweet home border which is going to separate, sort of, sort of like give us that um, detail in the centre there. Just to separate that design a little bit and then we have our wonderful as long as i can try and get that home so you can see home sweet home Or you could use pads. Think. I think that looks too bad to you. Not too shabby. Use pads if you've got pads. I don't have any pads. Need to make sure we don't see that flower line, twist that a little bit. 
it looks like that flower's behind. So I just need to tie it all together now. I'm just going to give that a second to grab. And then we need to get a black fine liner. So I'm going to tie the black from Home Sweet Home in and around. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my black line, fine liner and I'm just going to do a wonky, not too wonky, to the corner. And from here to here. And then, sorry, I'll do it from here to here. And then just add a second line. And maybe a line. sort of frames our wonderful design in there as well now you could go in here and do a stitch across there which i am going to do very gently just with my um pen here just to stop my banner from floating all the way across you could probably do this before you stick it down And again, it doesn't have to be straight because we've got that lovely wonky frame. So it's like whatever you do, it was meant to be. So don't be fearful of those little details. There we go. What do we think to that? <laughs> Different today. I'll just blow my nose on the piece of card that I just cleaned my, <laughs> cleaned my card with. <laughs> wonky lines. I'm not really... A wonky, I like to use my stamps for my wonky lines, as you all know, that's why I created them. But, you know, sometimes it is nice to have the courage to go freehand and have a play. So let's just stand this one up so you can see where it's at. So what, what started with white embossed, a couple of layers of ink picking up, and then um, add that accent, add that detail. And we've got something like very summery, very fruit salad -y. It just needs some sparkle and I'll add that afterward. Home sweet home. Wonderful, hey? So shall we put this one on the back with the rest and we'll showcase them all tomorrow for our last and final one. Tomorrow I'm going to try and do a little mini project to change it up to show you that although we've got stamps, we don't always have to make stamped cards. We'll try and make a little mini project tomorrow, and that's at one o'clock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, day seven tomorrow, one o'clock, and then Susan Tierney Coben tomorrow at um, six o'clock. And that's going to be wonderful as well, because she's going to showcase how she gets that lovely realism with her dyes. Um, and I have all of the products on the website, so if you do like anything, you can take a look. But equally, if you just want to watch the inspiration, maybe have some bits and pieces of hers already or from another brand, and you can just pick up those techniques or a little bit of inspiration along the way, then that's another box ticked, isn't it? So I hope you can join me tomorrow. Um, whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cosy. Always pop a comment underneath here because on day seven, I'm picking seven winners tomorrow. For anyone that's commented underneath these videos on the create together club and then i think we might talk about what the next create together club is going to look like because we're mixing it up so whatever you're doing have a great day guys and i'll see you all tomorrow one o'clock bright and breezy i will not be a giddy kipper i promise i'll be a good girl for a change have a great day everyone bye